We've come to Codicote Primary School in Hertfordshire to follow Helen Ackerman, an NQT, as she plans, prepares and teaches a science lesson on light to her Year 1 class. As part of her preparations, she's consulted with Jane Turner from the Science Learning Centre, who's helped her with her lesson plan ideas and provided some extra resources to help with this dynamic lesson. We sort of started already and I've introduced it using a book. The story focuses on the fact that Little Bear's afraid of the dark. There's a lot of darkness around right. him. So tell me what you're going to do. You've got your story. How are you going to make practical activities for the children to explore? I'm going to try and link with imaginative activities right. as far as possible. Um, um, using the theme of the bears. Um, and I thought we'd perhaps try and make a cave. Uh -huh. I think if they're going into the cave and they're working with me, the, the, the targeted group of children right. need to know that when they're in there, they need light to be able to right. see when they're in yes. the dark. I think it's really important when we're thinking about transition from reception to year one to try and keep the environment matching to the environment that the children are used to. So you mean a play-centred environment? Yeah, if possible, mm. and an imaginative focus. Yeah. Um, and obviously moving on more towards national curriculum objectives, but, yeah. but still within a context and a setting that the children are comfortable. So I've got a few activities that I hope they're going to enjoy and they haven't used before. I think that's course. really good. I think you need to keep your objective for science, Key Stage 1, really clear. Mm but allow children the opportunity to explore and come up with other things. So tomorrow morning, key stage one, science, focusing on light, yep. need light to be able to see, bit of exploration, bit of narrative, some focused investigation. Sounds Fantastic. good. Haven't successfully managed to find dark places in the past. It's From experience, colours. I would say you need lots of cloth to get rid of all the light mm -hmm. and you need to make it big enough for a couple of children in there so that they can actually talk to each other about what's happening and have a bit of space. During her preparations, Helen explains the little cave activity to Annie Palmer, her TA. Well, it's five to nine, the children are just arriving. I've spent hours preparing for all these exciting activities that we're doing today. I just hope the children have a great time investigating and finding out about light. Here we go. Right, children, are you all looking this way? Do you remember the story I read to you yesterday? Yes. Put up your hand if you can tell me what happened in that story, Polly. Um, little Bear was scared of the dark. That's absolutely right. He was really frightened, wasn't he? And what helped him to see in the dark? Laura? The moon. Now, the moon did help him to see in the dark in the end, didn't it? But what helped him to see in the dark when he was in the cave? The lanterns. It was the lanterns, and they were the what? You remember that special word we've used before? They were a light, light source. Good girl. Well done. They were a light source. Well done. Polly's going to pass me a torch from the table over there. Thank you, Polly. And let's just have a little look at it. Let's hope it works. Let's hope the batteries are in. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does work. Oh, look. Right. I'm shining it on Samuel's tummy here. <laughs> Samuel, can you feel that on your tummy? No. You can't feel it. <laughs> yeah. well, why not? Because it, it doesn't reach far. But it's touching you. I can see it. Look. It's touching <laughs> you. You can't feel it. Destiny's trying to touch it. Can you touch it and hold it, Destiny? Can you get it? Why not? It's flat. Because it's flat. You think because it's, it's flat? It's just air. Is it just air? Yes. How do we know that light is coming out of here? We said we couldn't touch it, could you we? You can see it. But you could see it with your eyes. I want you to have a little think whether you've ever been in a really dark place before. Um, I've been to the park at night time and it was really dark. Have you? Could you see? No. What's our special word that we use when we're going to be finding out about things? Light source. Light sources are what we're going to be using today. Well done to find out about the light and the dark, but what's that special word that we use when we're going off to find things out in science? Brianna? Um, transparent. Good try, very close. It starts with in. Ellen? Investigate. Fantastic! <laughs> so I'll put that word up there. And it's a very long word. Isn't it, Peter? What do we call it when we're thinking about what might happen, Laura? Guess, um, estimate. A guess or an estimate. Oh, I'll show you the word. Guess. See if you can read it. Transparent. 
Go on, Laura. Predict. Predict. Oh. Excellent. Well done. We're going to be predicting. We're going to be guessing what we think will happen when we do some of our activities today. And when we've guessed what we think will happen with some of these activities, then we're going to do a test to find out what happens. So I've put the word test here for you to have a look at. At the end of our investigation, we have some results. So let's stick our word result here. So we're going to do an investigation. We're going to be predicting, saying what we think will happen. We're going to be testing that, doing the activity and finding out. And then we're going to be telling our results. You might be telling them to Mrs Palmer or you might be writing some things down. As part of the children's experiences of light and dark, they're exploring different activities, including a light source table, a dark cave, a light box, small caves made out of shoe boxes, and a story box using props and mirrors. Sam and Laura are predicting which of the coloured stick people they'll be able to see in the cave with no light source. That's right, we've got some questions here to help you with your prediction. Which one's... You think, do you? This one here? Yeah. You'll be able to see him in... And the white one. In the dark. Why do you think you'll be able to see him in the dark? Because, um, cotton field is really, um, cotton film is really, really shiny in the dark. Do you mean foil? Yeah. Foil's really shiny. Right, OK. Where do you want to put that, then? Right, you're predicting that this one will be one we can see in the dark. They've decided that they will need a light source to see the red and black figures. All the figures have already been placed in the cave. Sam and Laura are now testing to see which figures they can find without a light source to help them. Well, that's what. We haven't covered our up this. Haven't we? I made the dark. We're making the village first. Yeah, Mrs. Palmer is a bit slow there, isn't she? Where are you? Hello, Laura. Here we are. Here are some light sources to help you to see in the dark. Right. One. How is it now finding the people in the dark? A bit easier. I can see the yellow one on my Black. And the red. Which one, Sam, is the easiest one to see? Um, it is the silver and the white, I think. Were they your predictions? Yeah. Fantastic. Bring all your things out and we'll have a look at your predictions and see what you found out in your test. Well done. <laughs> These children are exploring different light sources to find out which one is the brightest. See if you can block the light, Anna, with your hand. Well, it's not easy to do, is it? Look, the light's coming right round here. It's making quite a big beam of light. Yeah. Shine it on in the box. Can you see it when it's in the box? Yeah. And then shine it on the mirror and see that what all happens. Blue one, can you can only really see it moving. You, you can can't see, see it. it very well. No, it's not so easy to yeah, see, is it, you could, um, Can you see it through the back of the box, Peter? Shall we try it with the yeah, but if you put it through pe um, black paper... Right behind the box with that. No. No, no. no but no. if you didn't have black paper, it would work. Do you think so? Don't be afraid of the dark anymore, OK? okay. Just go to... Just go to... Okay, into the cave, Destiny. That's it, into the dark cave. Oh, what are you getting here? It's not that dark. Have you found anything yet? Annie Palmer, the TA, is working with this group of children to find out how much light is needed to see what is hiding in the shoebox caves. Now, have a look. What's in there? Can you see anything at all? No. No? Hang on. No. No. Just here, Shine it through there. Right. And then I'll see through there. Nice. Can you see now? Can I see? Yeah. Look, the holes are big enough. The holes are not big enough. So if we made them bigger, what would it do? Make more light go in. I think you're right, Samuel. I think that's a jolly good idea. I thought you Sorry? You can see a big bear. Hello. Where is little Pepper? 
I haven't seen anything yet. <gasps> found one! Which one have you found? Hello, one. Found another one. You ready to come out now? Little bear. Little bear, we're going out. Out where? Out into the dark. Remember the little people that you're looking for? Yeah. Can you see any of them? Not yet. No. Well, that's fantastic. Why can't you see them? Because it's too dark. Right. <laughs> Let's see which ones you find easiest to see. Now you've got light sources. Oh, that's... I can see one. What can you see? I can see the um, white one. Great. Well done. So you found the white one first. Keep looking. There should be four more to find. <laughs> Back at the shoebox activity, the children are starting to record their results. So, now that the children have finished their activities, it's time to sit down for the plenary. They predicted which of these people they would be able to see when they went into the dark, dark cave. I'm just going to put this word predict here because this was what you thought you would be able to see when you went into the dark, dark cave. Could you just tell the children why you thought you would be able to see those ones when you went because into the dark cave? when it was really, really dark, then quite light colours and shiny colours, they would show up. Right. They're bright colours. Excellent. I think that's a good reason for your prediction. Do you agree with that, Libby? Yes. And you thought that you would need a light on to see these two. Yeah. You went into the cave, you did your test. What I'd like you to do now is move the people into the right places to show us the result of your test. Did you see this one? In yes. Yes. Yeah. With the light on? Yes. Right. So where does it need to go now, then? On that side. Excellent. Well done. Well, back in the dark. No. You needed a light to see it, didn't you? Excellent. Well done. What about this one? We could see it a little bit in the dark, but we needed um, a torch to see it all. Excellent, Libby. Well done. You could see just a little bit, but a light source helped to see it really clearly. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Yeah, there. I don't know. And what about this one? We couldn't see in. The, we couldn't see it. Couldn't see it at all in the dark. No, that surprised me. I was surprised about that. Were you surprised about that? Yep. But you could see him with the light on. So move that place there as well. And that's the result of your test, girls. Excellent. Right, we've had a really good lesson. Lots of experiments, lots of investigation, and finding out that we need light sources to be able to see in the dark. Well done, children. Helen has now introduced the concept that we need light to see with two investigations. The large cave and the little cave shoe boxes. She's also enabled the children to explore light and light sources using a light box, a light source table and a story box. And all these activities began with the children's interest in the story.